Now there is a story on the first page of the chapter a treat of mosquitoes uh, for mosquitoes the blood test Rajat is back at school today he had been absent for many days how are you now asked arti i am all right rajat replied softly just kidat you must have played a lot while you were at home rajat who wants to play when you have fever on top of it i had to take a bit of medicine i even had a blood test just kidat a blood test why it must have been very painful rajat actually when the needle pricked my finger it felt like an ant bite they took 2 to 3 drops of blood and sent it for testing that's how we came to know that i had malaria nancy but you get malaria when a mosquito bites you rajat Yes but we find out by the blood test just kidat there are a lot of mosquitoes in my house these days but i did not get malaria nancy who says that every mosquito bite causes malaria malaria spreads only by the disease carrying mosquitoes arti All mosquitoes look the same to me Rajat there must be some difference now there is a conversation between three friends Jaskirat Rajat Nancy and Arti actually four friends now they are talking about that why Rajat was absent for so long they were hoping that uh, he might be playing at home but no he was very ill he had a fever and because he had malaria now he also had a blood test blood test like from his finger a needle was pricked what comes next let's see nancy did they take the blood from the place where the mosquito had bitten you rajat of course not how do i know when and where the mosquito bit me nancy but how could they find out that you had malaria by your blood test do you think they could see something in the blood now they have lots of question just like you you would have the same question don't you like how he got malaria and if he have got bitten by a mosquito then is the blood test is enough to find out like what can we see in the blood to find out that he had malaria and the blood was taken from the same place where the mosquito had bit him so there are so many question in the minds of these kids similarly you might have the same questions in this video we will answer all the questions the possible question you might have regarding this like how malaria actually happens what can you do when you have malaria what is the definition of malaria and what is uh, what happens when you got malaria it is a serious disease with chills and fever that is spread by the bite of a mosquito in the picture on the screen you can see the mosquito this is not a very normal mosquito basically how the malaria is spread the plasmodium parasite is spread by female anopheles mosquitoes which are known as night biting mosquitoes because they most commonly bite between dusk and dawn if a mosquito bites a person already infected with malaria it can also become infected and spread the parasite on to other people now it is spread by the plasmodium parasite which is spread by the female anopheles mosquitoes these mosquitoes usually bite from dusk to dawn so this is night biting mosquito so you should be careful at night now you have to get tested if you have mild fever for few days and it is just increasing you have restlessness you have fatigue so you should get yourself tested 
testing is performed to help to diagnose the malaria to monitor for the relapses and to determine drug susceptibility of the parasite causing the infection it means uh, suppose you already have malaria and you are taking the drug the medicine for the malaria still you need to get yourself checked by the blood test so that uh, you can have an idea that the medicine you are taking is actually working on your blood type or not similarly microscopes are being used to detect the uh, malarium uh, plasmodium in the blood look look in the screen you can see a doctor who is dr mariam looking at the blood slide under the microscope the microscope makes things look thousand times bigger the details inside the blood can be seen clearly there are some microscope which make things look even more bigger than this one now what are microscopes microscopes are the instrument which one or more lenses used to help a person to see something very small by making it appear larger so we use microscope you can see microscope in your science lab at school you can see microscope in doctor's chamber in any laboratory in any science lab in any scientific wherever uh, there is the use of science and blood test or any test is happening you can see microscope over there now how can you prevent the malaria there are few preventive measures as i already told you the mosquitoes are night biting mosquitoes so at night you should be very alert bite prevention is the main thing that we should focus on we should prevent ourselves from the mosquito bite avoid mosquito bite by using insect repellent covering your arms and legs and using a mosquito net check whether you need to take malaria prevention tablets if you do make sure you take the right anti malarial tablet at the right dose and finish the course and always see a doctor always take any kind of drug any kind of medicine or any kind of dose with the prescription of the doctor without consulting a doctor do not take any kind of medicine this is very very important kids and you should know that you can prevent malaria very easily by preventive measure that are been discussed so you should get used to covering your legs and arms always when you are going out to play in the field so that's all for today's video i hope all of you have learned something from this video see you in the next video till then Stay safe and study hard.